the most customizable miui rom ever maybe this is elite rom next 10 as you can see this is miui elite edition i made a video yesterday on top five best miui custom rooms which are having a lot of customizations and this custom room was included in that list in the terms of ui this is this is not something like that you might say that this is a different thing or unique customizable thing etc etc default ui is just basically same like other miui based custom rooms of all papers etc things are same but in the terms of customization this room brings you a lot of customizations we are talking about elite version and i'm not going to talk about that it is based on miui 14 miui 13 it's available for some of the devices for some devices it's available for free i mean if you use the default free version you want to use the free version you can use that without any major customizations only few of the features here and there but if you need more and a lot of customizations which i am going to talk about in this video for that you need to purchase this custom home the link for this one is available in the description that how you can buy that by the way some of the features it includes it gives you better refresh rate options i mean my device actually supports 60 or 120 but 90 hertz is unlocked in this custom home and i am talking about elliot which which is Mi 11X and if you're a user of Mi 11X you might see that you also have the 90 hertz unlocked it's totally up to you if you want to use this thing or not it also gives you some AOSP kind of UI I mean you have the option for let me show you some things here like Android etc if we move on to the enhanced notification option which is available in AOSP if you use Pixel etc all that also brings you the China MIUI features if you use the MIUI Global Edition if you have used MIUI India you don't have these options like new security options in settings but as it is Elite Edition so most probably you will see China ROM features available for you these are the customizations which i just wanted to let you know we have some status bar customizations where you have the option to enable the dual status bar and the single status bar if you don't want to use the dual status bar you can simply disable that or you want to enable that the option is available here for you one of the best thing is that everything is fully customizable i mean some of the custom homes like miui sr they might bring you the dual status bar option but i don't think so they give you the option to even adjust the icons which you want in your bottom in the, in the status bar at bottom row or the top row it's totally up to you for example you can see if you want to name if i want to place one icon at the bottom one icon at the top as you can see notification icons at the bottom or maybe the clock at the top and notification icons at the bottom i can simply adjust that very easily by simply drag and drop and this looks really really amazing it also has the option to change the this dual status bar size so by default if you are not satisfied with the dual status bar size you can even customize that this is very good i don't think so a lot of miui based custom room supports this feature so if you want to try it out of course if you are paying for this custom room you definitely need something different right if you take a look at the animations you can simply customize these things i still remember i was using these kind of animations this list view animations in the previous times but of course those things were available in miui pro also if you haven't used miui pro i don't know but yes this this is the thing which is available and this is also present in this maybe i will not be able to cover all the features which are listed in this custom room but i am trying to show you almost every feature i'm trying to show you as much as features as i can share with you you can see the ios style notification panel I, ios style notification panel is optional so if you don't want to enable that it's of course not enabled by default everything is available here for you if you want to enable or not it's totally up to you but if you enable this thing you can see this is how the ios style notification panel looks like of course i don't have any notification but we have we have screenshot in any app option which means you can take the screenshots if some app if the app is not allowing you to so that option is present here you can even customize the battery styles if you want to for example if you want to enable the percentage outside that indicator or if you want to enable only percent if you want to enable only graph it's totally up to you everything is here even even customize the colors i'm very bad in the terms of theming so i that's why i'm not showing you that how you can customize these colors even though if you have enabled the battery bar as battery indicator as only percentage you can even customize the fonts for that for example you can see we have five to six font style options available you can even use the bold or bold italic or only italic 
all these options are here for you to customize so this is really nice really amazing these were the brightness customizations you can see you can even customize the brightness bar in control center and i'm talking about the miui 13 style you also have the option if you don't want to use the miui 13 style control center you can simply disable that the same like which was present before the battery customization the same thing is present for the clock style customizations you can customize the clock fonts if you want to you can customize the clock color you can customize the clock size you can customize almost everything for example if i try to enable the animation you can enable you can even enable the animation for example if i try to enable this option and as you can see i have enabled the seconds and this is how the animation is looking like of course it's totally up to you if you want to enable these things or or not i'm again repeating that all the things are actually optional it's not compulsory to use these things one more thing which i found here is the control center in the control center 13 is the quick access for these apps you can enable you can add some of the apps here by clicking on the plus icon and you can quickly launch these apps from the control center this looks good if you click on the plus icon you can enable any app from here for example i just enable the calculator so when i click here the calculator is opening by one clicking in the control center so this looks amazing and yes you can enable this option by default it's not enabled you need to enable this option by going into the settings if you don't want to you can simply skip or ignore this option too you can see you can even customize the control center tiles animation just for an example as you can see i've just enabled this style option and yes you can see this is how the ui is looking like and customize this it's totally up to you for example if, if you don't like this thing you can use this open window animation so let me try to enable this okay this is how the ui is looking like you can customize everything almost everything you can customize the toggle animation style toggle animation interpolator everything is here for you you can even customize the speed if you like this thing if you think this is fast you can use the slow option or you can simply choose the fast option medium option same thing applies to the home launcher the customization for the launcher as expectedly because if you want if you are looking for the customization focus custom how that miui is without the launcher customizations you can see of course by default these things are not there you can use the ios style recent panel a lot of users actually fan of those ios style recents you can customize that same thing is in the terms of animations you can enable or disable those animation same thing applies to net speed indicator which means by default in miui you have single line net speed indicator but you can customize that you can use a two style a two lines net speed style and all these things works without root i mean by default these things work after rooting your device but if you want to use this thing without root you can use that too even in a stock MIUI, you can enable this option by rooting your device and installing some LSPOS modules. I made a video on those things by default. But if you want to use these things without rooting your device, you can use these things in a custom room. You can even customize the power menu if you want to. By default, it's power menu 7. And to change this thing, you need to reboot your device. That's why I'm not rebooting right now. But this is the default power menu. It is even customized as expectedly. And a lot of things are available here for you. You also have the option to customize the status bar icons visibility if some icon is if you want to disable some icon from the status bar if you don't want that icon in the status status bar you can simply disable that and it's also there some of the customization includes notifications related customizations control center related customizations status bar related customizations you can customize power menu you can customize almost everything in this custom room so what are you waiting for if you want to try it out the link is available in the description to buy or if you want to try out the free version you can try out that most of the devices most of the new devices are present and i will give you the list of the devices which are supported for this custom room the four style volume panel is working perfectly fine it's there it is also deblotted so most of the apps the apps which actually makes your device laggy are not present here so yes this is very interesting thing and these were things i just want to let you know as i just mentioned the devices the supported devices available there in the description make sure to check out that goodbye